Okay, all right, this is round one of, what is this, Anzac Cup? <coughs> and we're playing on this industrial complex type table with two Bane Blades as area terrain. Um, I've deployed here. My Gribblies, different uh, list. Uh, the Morlock in the back there. And I am versing, um, so what was your name again? John. John. I'm versing John. Papa G. Papa G. And he's doing Tau with Elder. Elder allies. So this is the old Tau. I know the Tau code is just pop, but um, and we're using um, Imperial armor stuff as well. So can you just yes. take, take us through your army? Uh, so basically, Fire Warrior is everywhere because Fire Warrior is rock. Battle uh, broadsides everywhere because again, they rock. Uh, Eldar Night Spinner, uh, Shadow Sun Ethereal, my Eldrad model with a cool solar system on the back ass of it because every model needs a solar system on it. Um, and yes, using Forge Tau Tetras basically get my marker lots because every Tau army needs marker lots. Pathfinder's over here, yeah, I'm painted, I'm a gamer, not a hobbyist. And Eldar um, Jetbox. Excellent. Um, Alright, so thank you very much. Alright, so we've done the first game, um, and the board was interesting, wasn't it? It, was the, uh, it had lines of fire. Yeah, it was kind of difficult for me, because especially with you being nids, I needed a lot more line of sight, and I just wasn't getting that, especially with that giant tank in the centre of it. Mm. It was a bit annoying, but uh, sitting up in the corner, I tried to channel down along, along it, and it helped me for a bit, but yeah, you just set up quite well it was pretty yeah pretty no good. I think you did in your deployment um, I think you did really well because you had some scoring units on the other side which had to pull some of my army away mm. and then the rest of it was firing down the channel so we'll see um, as soon as we get in um, what we're talking about but I thought in terms of deployment you did well um, but I think you just left a few many gaps in your thing to allow me to land yeah no, that no, was that yeah. was the one thing like if you would put everything like just one big blob I would have had to eat into that as opposed to dropping right in the middle and going, hello yeah. Eldrad. Yeah. Anyway, so we'll get into the game now. And um, as you can see here, you've deployed in the top right here and you've got nice channels down because if you deployed on that other side, of because we we're playing Dawn of War. Dawn of War, yeah. yeah so. um, if you had deployed on this side here, you wouldn't have been able to see anything. No, that's right. So I'm trying to set up my little Aegis line there that's quite annoying keys falling over you'll see that later on um, but yeah just channeling through there and you just moving through just spawning gaunts mm. it's not much you can do about gaunts herds of them but what annoying. was your um, what were you trying to do in terms of winning because there was five objectives well playing playing nids previously I know the whole idea is you got to get rid of the big bugs mm. big bugs little bugs die so yeah, that, that's, that was the key to it, especially with my Eldrade on the table, it shut down your psychic powers. Mm -hmm. As you did throughout the game, you rolled your dot. Yeah, I caused two, two wounds, wounds on myself. On yourself. That's right. Yeah. So doing that, and I knew also with your Florence, you've got to get rid of those because they just hurt. They mm -hmm. just eat everything. So I managed to get rid of one, I think it was in my first turn, which you'll see coming up. Yep. Because um, you make them land and then yeah, you do some more shooting. No, nah, that's right. That's all you got to do, make them land. It's hard to sink for them. But, yeah, just trying to kill your bugs and <laughs> just try to wheel you down as much as you can. Didn't work for me in the end, but... Mm. I, I think it was m mainly because, as I said, the, the gaps. If, mm. if you had spread out these guys a little bit, or even put one unit behind, even though they don't get the Aegis, they mm. still get 5 plus cover through units, Yeah. Uh, but not letting me land anywhere near you. Yeah. Um, and because you said you knew I was going to be deploying in that thing, I was really worried. If you had just put that unit up, yeah. it wouldn't have got cover, but you would have destroyed that Yergmol. Because if I can't deploy it, no, it dies. Right. Yeah, it's very So point. I was worried about that. Uh, but I've learned something in this game that Pathfinders, you have to kill only in combat. Because yeah. <laughs> I shot so many shots at those Pathfinders. Two plus cover save is nothing. Yeah, no, it's the, the joys of. If you, if you don't upgrade them, they only get the one plus of the cover save. Mm. So it's worth the points to upgrade them. 22 points a model or something like yeah. that. Give them that cover save. They just survive forever. You can't do anything about them. Mm. Yeah, so these are my Yergmals coming in, and I forgot to move them in my movement phase. Yeah, fatal error. Which. <laughs> hurt me not so much for the pathfinder guys no but for these guys here you can see on the um on the top here um they're actually up here and they have to go difficult terrain down and we'll see when the assault phase comes along um 
<laughs> if I jumped down in my movement phase, I wouldn't have had to do 3d6 um, no. minus the top thing. And I don't actually get into, I don't roll a three no, you on roll 3d6 a, you with roll fleets. A, you roll a six and two ones, decide to re-roll it with your fleet and roll another two ones. Didn't help you at all. Not at all, no. no. Um, so yeah, as you can see, you've just killed my uh, Pathfinders there with the, the horde of Tnids and now you're just moving on for the rest of them. Yes, yeah, so you've got a broadside just in that tower. You see it on the top of the screen. Um, you just it's cut off just a little bit. So uh, again, we were talking just before um, for next one. I'm going to get a, actually a taller stand because these tables are just a little bit tall. Uh, I played on some smaller tables, so it captures a bit more. Mm. Um, but in any case, you've got your entire army in the back there. Um, doing plenty of damage to me. Yeah. And that Sky Ray thing, yes, it didn't do any difficult terrain pinning things, oh, but... Oh, the, the um, Shadow... No, what's that called again? Night Spinner. Night Spinner, yeah. Night Spinner, that's the one. It caused a lot of damage, though. And yeah. it, it meant you could reach out and touch me in the back here. <laughs> Even yes. though I was in your face, you could still touch me back here. Yeah, just moved. There you go, you just, saw, you just took off, what, four, four or five guys just then, no problems. Yeah. Yeah, the straight six, no IP, and with your yeah, six plus armor save, it kind of hurts. Mm. So my my thing was um, picked off your treacherous with my flying hive tyrants, which yep. I managed to do. Like yeah, I yeah. killed all three by the end of the game, um, and I got th a first blood on that first tetra because yes, I yeah. played against Tau with tetras before, and I know how bloody annoying they are. Yeah. Uh, it just was like full marker lights. Yep, no problem. <laughs> you busted. <Yeah. laughs> um, yeah. And then There's distract so you. Like with all my little gribblies, and then um, our well, secondary strike in turn two, kill Eldrad, which I managed to do with my Devil Gaunts, eighteen yes. Devil Gaunts. Yeah, that that hurts a lot. That was that was thirty good. something shots. So yeah. yeah, yeah, not really fair. But you, you can join. Can't you join Eldrad with a? I can, but uh, you're not Battle Brothers. Yeah, though. they are. And I've, now that I think about it probably would have been a good idea because mm. yeah, no. like even just say one or two guys linking back to that mm. um, Aegis line just to join Eldred so I can't pick him off Yeah, just because I saw him by himself and I said there's a beautiful gap right there I would be stupid not to do it Yeah, you, I well, took the risk I got it you, you're very lucky Eldred. not scattering off the table because you, you I landed was. an inch away from it so yeah I was, was it, it was nine I needed an over nine or something yeah, like that yeah you were ten I was, I said I can't roll a nine, and I rolled an eight. And eight like, Thank yeah. goodness. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty lucky. So, yeah. Anyway, so this is just now a protracted um, combat with your HQ here. It's just this big conga line. Yes. Um, you, you the shadow sun, not easy to take out. No, no, out. and you were killing three a turn, and I caused like one wound, mm. then one wound, um, and we, I was, we were forgetting that I could move that consolidate mm. after the combat. That's correct. So it took too long to get there like I was only moving the three inches each combat and I went I can move after combat can't yeah. I anyway we've learned something here we've both learned something yes yeah so um, this is the last turn here I've capped three objectives um, you actually get that one don't you because you killed that squad yes. in combat in was, combat yes your fire warrior squad the um, MVPs of the game yeah, yeah they come now here they come here they're about to charge those guys um, they kill off two, win combat, chase down Termagents, <laughs> yeah. um, and cap that objective as well. Yeah. So you got one, I got three, yep. um, and my last dice roll here, because I got the negative one toughness on your big boss. Yes. Um, yeah, that hurts a lot. Your your boss, he just failed the last two saves, yeah. and I got the first, uh, the, the kill the warlord. Anyway, man, that was a great game. No, Thank you cool. very much. It was good.